Okay, it's Dennis at KingmakerForex.com with a simple little method uh, using a draw program to help you visually evaluate your trading indicator strategy. Now, we're using Kingmaker Rhythm 1, uh, which is a Kingmaker algorithm. You might be using like RSI and MACD or something. You're comparing them maybe to Stoke. I don't know what you might be doing. But this is a way so you don't have to go through all the statistical stuff to figure out how to read your algorithm and what the failure rate is and how to set your stop losses. Very important. Okay, so stick with me for a couple minutes and we'll be done. Now, first thing you want to do, of course, is run your chart with your indicator set up and take a snapshot of it and, and plop that into a paint program or a draw program as I have done here. Step two, you want to draw a little um, rectangle, a very flat rectangle, from edge to edge, and I'm going to do that very carefully here, and we're going to go across like that, and that's the end of it there. Okay. Next thing you want to do is draw a vertical line from the start of what you consider a signal on your setup, and then you want to draw a vertical line at the end of that signal on your setup. Now, in this particular algorithm, uh, my setup is running from uh, when when green is above red and is above blue. In other words, the order of the plots has to be green above red above blue. So that means that that signal doesn't start until right here. And I'm going to draw the line and I'm going to extend it up through the uh, little rectangle I have there. And that signal ends over here uh, because red gets above green a little bit, so it ends right about here, okay, and I'm just going to draw a line like that, all right, and what this particular signal means is uh, an uptrend, or a, at least a trend of several bars, so I'm going to color that in uh, as green, okay, right there, color the bar in, well, I need a darker green, don't I, okay, so you can really see it, there we are, green, now I'm going to go off camera and do all the rest of them to save us time. All right, and I forgot to mention, okay, you see I've done all these now. Forgot to mention, when it flips to blue, red, green, that's a down signal, okay? So I put all those in and I colored in the spaces where these things occur. And I just extended this line right here up so you can see uh, that it did signal the drop in the next candle, and that's about, oh, about an 8 pip drop. And if you're compounding, that's really all the advantage you're looking for. In fact, that's a lot. Also, at all the succeeding candles throughout this red period, uh, you pretty much, uh, throughout that, you're getting the, uh, you know, the downside of it. You're getting a short opportunity. Uh, for, based on the signal, the first signal, which was this candle right here. So, now, with any algorithmic trading system, there's an element of statistics that's involved, or probability that's involved. So, no algorithm is perfect all the time. In this one, uh, on this particular chart, this particular time frame, it happens to be pretty accurate, though, uh, you know, it's probably 80, 90 percent accurate if you want to pause the video and study that, you'll see you got about 80 to 90 percent accuracy, but here's a failure, and that failure uh, comes over here. That failure comes in right over here towards the end of this, uh, and I'm just kind of pointing up towards the end of uh, that green sector, and you can see you're losing about, you know, seven, eight, maybe nine pips on that. All right, now what that does for you is it helps you set a stop loss. So remember, you made your money uh, along here from, uh, let me say, right here. You made your money there along, okay, and then you started to lose money right there. So you're looking, as I said before, at about a seven, eight pip uh, loss there. So what kind of stop loss do you want when you see that kind of behavior in your algorithm? Well, in this case, I probably would sit here with a manual because I hate, uh, um, you know, the, the stop loss hunting uh, that happens to a lot of us. Uh, I'd sit here with a manual 
five pip stop loss maybe or maybe less than that because my gain on this was only about 10 pips so when you figure in the spread you know maybe I will set up with a two or three pip stop loss in other words if I start seeing it drop I'm just gonna get out take my profits and run away so why have this bar here with the red and green blocks on it instead of just looking at the plot well because looking at the plot is kind of mind-numbing and it's hard to keep in your head uh, what's go what's going on and what's gone before with the bars you can clearly see uh, where you made gains and where you have to think about stop losses okay and you can see kind of the odds of winning too all right, just a visual tip to help you out, and that red and, the red and green plots up here, uh, that's Kingmaker's Emerald algorithm. That's something rather special. All right, I'm Dennis. Uh, it is uh, the 25th of October, 2014. You have a great weekend.